No, you're not seeing things, folks. I am actually in front of the camera this time. And the last time I was on here, it was my voice. You know, saying what needs to be said for, I believe, the rest of the mini review. But I am actually back. Did you miss me? No? Well, too bad. I'm going to say my reviews anyway. This is my Tears Wrestling review, and I have so many things to talk about. From WrestleMania, to the Superstar Shaker, to what happened last night on Monday Night Raw. So let's get to the main point with WrestleMania, okay? First thing, possibly the best match of the night, Shane McMahon vs. AJ Styles. And it was the first match of the main roster, WrestleMania. It stole the show. Everything was perfect. Even Shane McMahon coast to coast drop, in which you know he busts his ass or whatever case may be. But who knows? Like he did what he needs to do to put money in their pockets. But let's face it, it's a one on one match, and surprisingly, it was a great one on one match. You know, AJ came out on top, which we all wanted that. So kudos to him, and kudos to Shane McMahon for putting up an amazing match with the phenomenal one. The second main thing that happened on Mania that was so surprising, which was still talking about to this day, is the return of the Hardy Boys. Not the Broken Hardys. You know, V1 and, you know, Jeff. The original Hardy Boys. Which, we're surprised, but you still hear and see the delete, 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 delete. You still see it. But what I've heard recently that the WWE are actually trying to buy the rights from um, Anthem slash Impact slash TNA so that the Hardys, especially Matt Hardy, can use the broken thing. You know, the broken uh, chick. chick. Uh, but, uh, let's see. I mean, it's actually going towards their way. Like, they're actually winning the case. So, who knows? Maybe next week. You hear that lovely piano, and then you hear the lovely words. I fade away and classify myself as obsolete, obsolete. Oh, that'd be great. And what else happened? Oh, yeah. Two things that basically just put WrestleMania down the drain. You know, the whole big proposal with John Cena and Nikki Bella. That was, oh God, it's so corny and so cheesy. Like, excuse uh, me. Look, if you was there to watch it, Jonathan, I'm sorry, but it's called YouTube, so I seen it. It's so corny. Come like, on, man. The way they did it was so corny. I'm telling you, if Miz and Maurice would have won that match, it would have been at least a bit better. But what John do you think Cena about had to win the match. I like the wedding. It was what? John Cena had to win the match. Okay, and you know, he had to let Nikki Bella get her, her moment. That's supposedly supposed to be her last match of the WWE. But yeah. He's moving. <laughs> Square ass. <laughs> <laughs> but like I was saying, um, it was so bad. Like we all heard it and... Sorry if you hear that noise and stuff. Is uh, his little niece Aaliyah. Aaliyah. Sorry about that. <laughs> um, but yeah, like I said, it was boring, it was cheesy, it was corny, it was. It should happen, you know? But they gotta have their moment in front of millions of people watching on on the radio network and, you know, the couple thousand that's, that was there at the, um, the stadium, the arena, wherever the hell they was. And the worst part of WrestleMania, you know, Roman Reigns with The Undertaker. Yeah, that suck. It was bad. Oh. But the way Undertaker put his gear down in the middle of the ring, and then he broke kayfabe by kissing his actual wife, Michelle McCool. You know, he cheated on me with Michelle McCool. Let's all face it, okay? But, uh... <laughs> It was a great way to send off. And you saw that long ramp, right? You saw how long that ramp was. So you see how long it took the wrestlers to go down to the ring? I think it was slick. He started in the middle. He rose from the middle. He was like, 
I ain't walking that far. You lost your damn mind. So he walked down from the middle, did his thing. Then he walked back up to the middle, had his fists up while they was lowering him down to the, to the pits. You know, the backstage, whatever the case may be. But you know what's really cool? The people who had to work around, like cleaning up the arena and, you know, fixing up the ring and, you know, pack everything up. His stuff was still there in the middle of the ring. You know, I guess they show him that much respect of how much he, his hard-earned work and, you know, his blood, sweat, and tail that he put in his company. Like, he's basically the cornerstone of the WWE. And they just left it there like, you know what? That's our tribute to you. You did your thing. We'll just work around it. And once it's ready, we'll pick it up and put it away. <clears throat> so now let's talk about the Superstar Shaker. Well, first, the new Raw General Manager is the, you know, the current inductee into the Hall of Fame, Kurt Angle. And, you know, people getting ready for Superstar Shaker that was happening last week. So, uh, let's see, from Raw, they have the IC champion, Dean Ambrose. They have now the Miz and Maurice. Who else they had? Um, Alexa Bliss came, and uh, Mickey James came. Apollo Crews was the first one announced to go to my name, Raw, from SmackDown. Everybody from here is from SmackDown, and now they're on Raw. Who else, who else, who else, who else? Kalisto, which no one cares, like... Anybody cares? Oh, Bray Wyatt. But yeah, he still have a feud with Randy Orton, which is surprising. Randy Orton, and now with Finn Balor. It's confusing. Oh, uh, what else happened? What else happened? Hmm. I'm trying to think who else made it to. I'm too raw for Psyched Up. I can't really remember. No. But I know from SmackDown, they got Charlotte Flair. The uh, U.S. champion, Kevin Owen, Sami Zayn, Rusev, Lana, Jinder Mahal, uh, uh, <laughs> Kuma. Oh, the Shining Stars. Why? They suck. They literally suck. Right on, and um, Heath Slater. They're on Raw now. And New Day is actually on oh, SmackDown. Oh, man. That's... Ugh. And now The Revival. They're now on Monday Night Raw. But, you know, they came up from NXT. And Time Dillinger is another person that came up from NXT. He's now on SmackDown with the... 10, 10, 10, 10. And then you see that bum... Elias? Elias? Samson? I hope I have... I hope I say it right. If not... I don't care. He's on the wrong. <clears throat> Try to think who else, who else. Oh, I think that's it. I think that's it. Yeah. No. That's Jenna Mahomes. That's my yeah, I think I said that. That's nothing I could think of. Nothing I could think of. Oh. You know, Roman when you talk smack about how this is his yard. This happened the Monday night before after um, WrestleMania. So, sorry about going back and forth. Um, what else? What else? What else? Like, you don't say, oh, this is my yard. They, I never he heard an audience basically give the biggest, oh, biggest heat in the history of Monday Night Raw. I mean, this is the worst way Shawn Michael will talk us back to Canada when, you know, he's supposedly screwed right, but you know, they're all best bud. Uh, this thing, oh, damn, I can't even say it because it's a girl here. Uh, <laughs> but you know what they said, you know, shut up, uh, okay, and go away, go away, go away. It'll be funny if they, <laughs> if he was trying to speak and he would say, like, have the mic close to him, and they was like, who cares? <laughs> oh man, 
If they would have ever said that, I would have been on the floor crying. Oh, what else happened? What else happened? Oh yeah, I'm gonna return. Big whoop. Uh let's see, let's see. I think American Alpha is still on SmackDown. I believe. I'm not sure. Hmm. Okay, well I know the news lately is what happened on my night raw. First off, Alexa Bliss is now the number one contender for the Raw Women's Championship. She's gonna guess she's gonna be up against the current champion Bailey at Payback, which is two weeks away. And Braun Strowman is so pissed off. He's destroying Kalisto on true. I don't know who else he hurt, but I don't care. You know, after his destruction on Roman Reigns, which was still music to my ears, uh, he actually destroyed the ring with the Big Show. Literally, suplex, Big Show, onto the ring, and for the third time, the ring collapsed. And you notice the LED light, that those expensive lights that you see in the ring post, it wasn't there. It was the regular ring post. And you know how before when these two actually had a match, you saw the workers fixing the ring, making sure it's nice and tight. Nobody was there. So, mm, you knew it was going to happen. You just want to tell us. Okay. <clears throat> now I wonder, out of the three that surprisingly Big Show was in when it comes to Ring collapse. The first one, Brock Lesnar and uh, himself, Big Show. Then it was uh, Big Show and Mark Henry. And now Big Show and uh, Braun Strowman. To me, the best one will always be Big Show and Brock Lesnar. Because it's Brock Lesnar. This happened when Big Show was still 500 pounds. He was more than 500 pounds. He was like 505, 510. And you see Brock Lesnar, 285, 290, lifting up Big Show, doing a suplex. And mind you, they didn't break. Like, no one trying to adjust the ring just so it could be broken. No, they actually broke the ring. You heard Taz, who was on the announcing team at that time, was like, holy shit. Like, <laughs> like he couldn't believe it. And it was on national TV. I remember I was, I remember UPN. I saw that one. And it was great. And my mom was like, turn it down. I'm like, okay. I won. <laughs> but yeah, that one will always be the best, you know, rain break in history. Um, anything else happened? Oh, Kofi, Kofi Kingston is out because the revival broke his uh, ankle, even though technically he had to do surgery anyway. So what's the point? Uh, what else? What else? What else? That's what I can think of. I know tonight is SmackDown. I'm not going to be able to watch it. Um, but I will do a review next week. Talk about, hopefully next week, talk about SmackDown and uh, Raw. Also, folks, um, from the sign from GQ <laughs> behind the camera, uh, later on today, there will be a board game uh, with friends, even though it's just going to be me, him, and we're going to play Yu-Gi-Oh. Yes, we are. As you can see here. Yes. Thank you. Okay, folks. Uh, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to JQ as well. Please don't forget to like my videos when Terry's wrestling movie. And also stay tuned for the board game. It's going Doro to be Master God. <laughs> I just try to do that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Go for it. <laughs> I'm going to tell you. Take care. Bye.